Before we get into the video, I would like to give a shout out to Jasu Draws, who is the comment of the week. Thank you so much for your comment. I really like reading all those comments, and if you would like to be the comment of the week, all you have to do is comment on any video. Howdy, my peeps, and welcome to How to Draw Black People, part four. Oh my goodness. Um, in the past, I've done one on, I did like an introduction where I like covered all the bases that I could think of, and I did another one about coloring skin, and another one about drawing hair, so. I haven't actually done one where I actually draw a face, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, however, disclaimer or something, um, before we get into that, I would like to say that there is not one way to draw black people because black people look different. Here's some examples, and this is just in um, East and West Africa, examples of different faces that black people can have, like different features that black people have can have. like. All black people don't look the same. All black people don't have the same features. We're all different. There are black people all over the earth with different features and there's just not one way to draw black people. So that's kind of one reason why I kind of shied away from actually doing a drawing demonstration, but um, I'm gonna do it now. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get into that maybe. If you're new here, which if you are, welcome. You don't have to subscribe, but you can if you want to, anyways. I draw black people for the most part. That's just what I do. As you saw, I am black. Look at these hands. I'm black. So I draw a lot of black people. Um, so, you know, you can find like a bunch of examples of black people on my channel if you wanted to, you know, because that's pretty much what I draw almost exclusively. I have other characters who are like aliens, like this guy, but for the most part, I just draw black people. That's just, you know, that's what I like doing. But anyways, um, I'm going to do four examples. I'm gonna do a girl, front view, and side view. Well, no, I'm gonna do three, four, view because that's my preferred view. <laughs> and also a side profile of a girl and a guy. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna drill a little bit. So, um, I did a tutorial a while ago on how to actually draw a face, and it's basically the same thing because, like I said, I draw black people almost exclusively, so it's basically the same thing. So we're going to start with a circle. I'm, I'm just doing like the bases of the face first before we get into the features. And the features that I'm going to really show you how to draw are the nose and the mouth because I feel like when people ask for help with drawing people, black people, that's probably what they're talking about, the nose and the, and the mouth. because. You know, I feel like everything else, with the exception of one thing that I'm going to show you when I do the side profile, is pretty um, similar to a lot of other people. But anyways, so here's our face. I'm actually going to draw her hairline too. That's the head there. Neck, because I have to. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to draw her eyes before I get into it, because... One minute. Let me know if I should update the how to draw a face tutorial. Let me know, because maybe I should. Anyways, noses. We're gonna go off to the side here, right here. This will be the nose box, the nose and lip box. We're gonna split it. Noses, lips. So we're gonna start with noses. So the way I typically draw a nose is I draw a circle and then some parentheses like shapes, like this. Parentheses shape, another parentheses, trace the bottom of that oval shape, another parentheses, trace the other side. And if I were drawing the nose bridge, depending on what the person's nose looks like, if it kind of sticks out like this, I would draw like this. If it's kind of like a flat nose, flatter nose, I would do this. Um, or I won't draw the nose bridge at all. It really depends. Um, if you draw a nose bridge, it can kind of make a character look a little bit older. So, you know, it depends. So you could do like this, or I'm gonna draw another nose over here. Or you can do like this. Or you have some people who have like really, um, what do you call that? Angular noses. You would do, instead of the oval shape, you would make like a, let's say it's like a broad angular nose. You would make this like diamond shape. And let's say more of a nostril is showing. So it's like very similar to this, except you're just, cutting into the shape a little bit more with the nostril shape like this 
And then with the bridge of the nose, you could do this. Or, <laughs> I did it wrong. Anyways, or you can do this. You can just like vary it between each one. You could have this angular shape, but with less of the nostril showing, you can do the round shape with more of the nostril showing. You know, it really depends. So we're gonna go over to the face here and we're gonna draw a nose. I'm gonna do the round nose because that's the one I usually draw because that's the one that I have. It's like this. Circle shape. this. You can also change the size of it. You can make it wider. So actually, let me do that. Make it a little bit there. Look at that. Wow. So now we're going to move on to lips. Sometimes I do like a weird three shape like this parenthesis shape parenthesis shape and the good thing about this weird three shape is if let's say her mouth is open a little bit just draw another little parenthesis and boom you got yourself some teeth since we're doing three fourths you over here i'm going to show you how to do that it would be very similar to this except one end of the three would be shorter than the other i'll have the parenthesis shape except it will be thicker on the side where the face is facing, so it'll be left facing, so it's thicker on this side. And it kind of narrows out at the end. And you can do the same thing at the bottom one. Boom! However, when I'm drawing, guys, with full lips, I normally just draw a line for the bottom lip. I don't actually outline the whole bottom lip. Um, so, that's the thing. Or if he doesn't even have like full lips, I'll just do this. Or I'll even do this. Which reminds me of the Cupid's bow, which is like, uh, let me show you. I'll do front view again. Cupid's bow is this bit here where it kind of like dips the top of the lip. Like that. On the side view, I do it like this. There you go, all kinds of lips. I'm gonna do this type of lip on her. Wow, look at that. And I've already done a tutorial on how to draw hair. So you can go watch that if you like, but I'm just gonna do a quick one here. What type of hair I wanna draw? I'll do locks. Look at that. We got ourselves a black lady. Oh, what do you know? Oh my goodness. So next we're gonna have a guy and we're gonna have his three-fourth of you face. If I can make room for that. Let's see. This looks good. This is nice. Um, <laughs> we do that here. So first, basic structure of the face. done a tutorial on how to draw a guy's face for various reasons mostly because I feel more comfortable drawing women because that's what I draw most of the time so. but maybe one day when I get really comfortable I'll do it okay so we have his face now he needs a nose and a mouth I'm running out of space on my desk <laughs> He also needs a neck. He needs a neck. Come on, my guy. He needs some assistance. Okay, I helped him out. <laughs> okay. So, same principles here. We're just gonna put it on his face. We're gonna do the angular nose, I think. For this guy. So we have that diamond shape. For this one, we're gonna have more of his nostrils showing. 
Like I said, you can you can vary that. You can have less of an astrotron if you want. <laughs> My brothers are making some noises. I apologize, but anyways, not satisfied. Let's do it again. And then the nose bridge. So there we go. And now, he needs a mouth. So, same principle. I think we're going to give him... You know, I'm kind of feeling this one here. You know? That's what I'm feeling. So, let's do that. And there you go. Look at that. He's a businessman. Look at him. Look at his polo shirt. Oh my gosh. Your boy's going places. Look at that. What do you know? We drew another black person. Very simple. Once you have, like I say, you can vary the face shapes a lot. So, you know, if you want that. I don't like to say it because black people have different features. But, you know, I know what people mean when they say that. You know, once you get the nose and the lips right, you got it. As far as, like, the drawing is concerned. Like I said, I have a tutorial on how to actually color, so. Um, that playlist is somewhere, so you can go check that out if you want. But anyways, next we're gonna move on to the side profile. So, I'm gonna do the basic setup of that first. Okay, so here's an interesting thing I noticed about the lips the mouth area when it comes to Caucasian people versus black people and I'm gonna see if I can show it because I'm running out of space oh my gosh there we go that's good that shows it okay so if you look at this guy here there's like this curve shape between the, the nose and the chin it like curves inward like this whereas with people who have fuller lips it's like it's like it has like this um, open parentheses, whereas I would describe this as the closed parentheses shape. You know, I think that's really interesting. I just noticed that by just like observing differences. Um, and the fact that I was even doing that was because someone had mentioned, was talking about eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're back. Like the difference between um, eyes, like the types of eyes between different races, like Asian and black people and white people. And the question was asked, what's the difference between black people's eyes and white people's eyes? And so I was just like paying attention to differences in facial features. And I was like, hold up, this lip thing happens. <laughs> so that was my accidental discovery. Oh, and you, you probably want to know what my observations were about eyes. And if I recall correctly, it had something to do with some white people's eyes are deep set, if that makes sense. Like they're back in the skull a little bit more and they have larger eyelids sometimes. In some cases, everybody's different, you know? But anyways, we're gonna apply that same principle I was just talking about, about full lips kind of having this open parentheses shape like that. Once I get in frame. <laughs> anyways, come on, we can do it. Let's go, there we go. Oh. Before we even get to that, we had to draw the nose first. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna redraw this character and I'm gonna use these same noses that I have. Redraw this character and have these same noses up here. So, um, this nose is, she has like a flat nose bridge. I think that's what this area is called, the nose bridge. And then she has this rounded area down here. So we're gonna apply that to this. So it's like flatter here. And then at the end, it's like rounded, like that. And you can kind of see a bit of her nostril here. So I'm gonna have, cause like when you're drawing a nose from the side, I'm gonna use this as an example. You can either have the nostrils going this way or this way, like this. And if it's like this, that means more of the nostril showing. If it's like this, it means less of the nostril is showing. So we're gonna use a combination of these two. So it's gonna be kind of like, just like there. <laughs> that makes any sense. And then, actually, I'm gonna fix this forehead area a little bit. 
let me just fix this. Sometimes, um, I like I really like drawing side profiles, but I find I have to do a, like a lot of changing and moving things around whenever I do it. So, but anyways, so with the lips, it's gonna be open parentheses shape. So I'm gonna you can actually even make the shape like you can even like do it like that if you wanted to or something. Um, I'm gonna kind of have it back a little bit like this. So. We're gonna go to our lip chart up here for lips. What I do is I kind of make like a shape like that, and then like this for side for the lips from the side. And then depending on like the how full someone's lip is, I just vary the size of the top lip. And if the person has like a really pronounced cupid's bow, I'll do this. Hold it. <laughs> I'll do this. And then like, have it come out like this. If that makes any sense. Anyways, we're not doing that. We're doing this one. This one. So, have it come out like that. when I usually have to do some editing because usually I make my guides too small so and I'm just gonna finish the rest of the face I colored the top lip a darker color and if you watch the how to color tutorial you'll see why oh my gosh there's a reason also i don't really like sometimes i don't even like draw the line under the top lip i did a little bit but i don't complete it when i do the side profile view when I do the side profiles I just gotta do it actually I don't have to do it I just really want to oh my gosh it'd be like that sometimes but anyways so we're gonna move on to the next one anyways so basic same thing gonna get the basic shape of the face my guide is going to be too small as per usual I'll try to make it work though So now the nose, similar principle, except it's going to be, and it's still going to have like a, even though he has like a more angular nose compared to hers, it's still going to be um, pretty rounded. And it's also a kind of flat nose as well. So it's going to be pretty similar up in this area, but then here's just when it here, like similar in this area. And then here's where it's going to change a little bit. He also has a bigger nose. so. gonna do is I drew this then I'm gonna like round it off at the end and my guide's too small I knew that was gonna happen but anyways I'm just gonna erase it and forget it ever happened <laughs> and I'm gonna use this nostril shape because his nostrils are showing a little bit more than hers just a little bit so that goes up like that and then his lips he has a thinner top lip than hers, so it's going to be, where did I show that? Somewhat similar to this. But with the same, like, um, print open parentheses shape here. I made his head all wonky. <laughs>
rounding it out a little bit more. His nose, I mean. You see what I mean? Like, I draw it and then the, it's like <laughs> a completely different size by the time I finish. It'd be like that sometimes. But anyways. satisfied with that. This business man got his polisher wreck on because he's about that life. But anyways. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of the drawing. Ta-da! So we have him right there. Look at him. What? A woman life. Oh my gosh. And I just keep doing stuff because I just cannot stop. But I will stop now because I think I'm finished here. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful. I hope it wasn't too all over the place. I find that tutorials are sometimes difficult to do because sometimes it's just difficult for me to explain what it is that I'm doing. But I hope this was helpful. I hope you understand what I was trying to show you. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. It's actually... Um, especially if you practice a lot, look at a lot of references, it's not as difficult as it may appear. Um, I feel like the thing you may have a little trouble with is translating certain features into your style. But that's just a matter of, you know, looking at references and seeing what, like, how to draw them according to your style. Like, for example, so for example, I have this style where I do these, like, squiggly noses. Let me zoom in and show you. Oh my gosh. This lady has a nose similar to this lady's nose and I just translated in my style by making it round like this and then doing the squiggly nostrils whereas let me see an example this guy over here kind of has like a bigger nose like a more pronounced nose bridge so I have a longer thing up here in the squiggly nostrils so like with some things it just depends on you know it's just a matter of trying things out in your own style you know you gotta, you gotta experiment a little bit but that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, shout out to my patrons, Turtle Bun Buns, Ariana, Kelsey, and J. Cameron. Thank you so much for being my patrons. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Wow. Um, I'm also on Coffee. I'm also on Instagram. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.